Hello. This is a little bit of information regarding the Triumph Rocket 3R. I purchased this bike last week on the 20th of July 2023. It is brand new, but it was a 2022 and it was in the red color, Koshi red that I like. The bike is phenomenal. It is a big bike, but it handles great. However, there are several things that I don't understand why Triumph would do such cheap dime store things. First of all, you have right here this cap. It is a cover over the radiator cap underneath. It is just cosmetic for looks. And right here is a small screw. Well, when I picked this bike up, apparently the dealership was not aware of how to remove this cap and someone had just manhandled it and twisted it off and bent this screw. The screw goes through a little alignment to keep the cap stable, which it is now. However, the cap is has a plastic gear to connect it to this cowling cover of the radiator, which is also plastic. This is aluminum casting though. And I was sitting in a light waiting for it to change and the cap actually fell off in front of me and I picked it up. Thankfully it didn't come off going down the road because I believe you would have a hard time quickly replacing that and the cost of it would not be cheap, I'm sure. But this thing is so poorly done, I just can't imagine that Triumph would take their top of their line vehicle and allow something like that to be made. But in any event, I was able to drill out the old screw. It's an M3 screw and take the cap apart and repair it. I do have to replace it with a stainless right now. It's a standard steel, which I don't want it to have corrosion issues. But in any event, the only other thing that I find funny is that this bike uses a key fob, which is really neat for the digital screen and powering it up. But what I don't understand is if you lose the key fob, you're in some problems. You can uh, use the manual key that has a sensor and you run it along a set area just below the pillion seat and you can use that to power up the, the vehicle. But I just don't know why they simply won't stick with a key, just a regular key. You can put it in your pocket. It just doesn't make sense. But again, the bike is really nice. It handles great extremely powerful in any event i just wanted anyone that's thinking about these bikes to acquire it to beware of that one little incident and i'm sure there's more to come but i wanted someone to know about that now thank you